In this After Effects tutorial, we will create a very cool and interesting transition using just shape layers inside of After Effects. Now, this tutorial is highly inspired from the Toko graphics pack. I'll mention the link into the description if you don't know about it. I highly, highly recommend you guys to go ahead and check it out. It's an absolutely great pack with more than 9000 plus sales. So the link will be in the description. So make sure you check it out. And without wasting any more time, let's actually jump into After Effects and let's get started with the tutorial. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to call this main comp 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS, and 5 seconds long. Hit OK. Let's create one more composition, which is going to be a lines composition where we can create our lines for the transition. So let's rename this to lines and hit OK select the pen tool and I'm going to set the stroke at around 10 pixels and make them white so we can see them make sure your fill is set to none so you can simply click on this icon to set it to none and hit OK so let's randomly start building up some lines so I'm going to just click and hold shift and click right over here to create a straight line then I'll go into the properties go into add and add a trim path now trim path should be at the bottom so you can add that and now we can easily animate the lines using the end and the start property of the trim path so I'll go to around one second set this to 100 create a keyframe on the end property go back and set this to zero then I can go a few frames forward maybe 10 frames forward in time let's create a keyframe on the start property go again add maybe around one second and 10 frames and set the start property to 100 so now we have a very simple line animation so let let's make it look a bit more cool so what we can do is select all the keyframes and hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes go into the graph editor right click and make sure you're working in the edit speed graph so I'll, let's zoom in a bit and I'll place my time indicator right over here in the center of this curve and let's try to create a nice peak so I can select this point hold shift and let's drag them just like that then select this point and drag the handle just like so so we get a nice steep curve and now you can see our line animation looks a bit more snappy so we are good to go with this let's go back now we can simply select this hit ctrl D to duplicate it and I can place it somewhere around there I'm gonna do this very randomly let's select the layer hit U two times to reveal the properties select the path I can select this point and maybe drag this out to create a bit more variation let's hit ctrl D again to duplicate it maybe I'll place this one right over here you can select the layer, hit U two times again, select the path, and then you can adjust the length of the path just like so. So using the same process, I'm going to create a few more copies. So hit Control D. Let, let's put this somewhere here. Select the layer, hit U two times, select the path, and let's place it maybe somewhere around there. Hit Ctrl D again. Let's place this one right over here and make this a bit more longer. Select Hit Ctrl D and place one right over here. And create a bit more shorter path like that. I think I'll adjust this one a bit because it's kind of aligning with the other path as well so you can you know do it very randomly and the more random you keep the more cool it's gonna look so select it hit ctrl D maybe keep a path right over here something like that hit ctrl D I'll keep one right here also I'll hit ctrl D again and keep one right here so we get a bit more variation into the pattern 
doing something like that so now we have a nice line now we can go ahead and displace them a bit just to give it a bit more variation so what i can do is let's pretty randomly i'm going to try to displace them just like so so now let's see what we get so we get this really cool animation as you can see looks pretty nice so there we have our lines now let's go ahead and build up the complex shapes which are very simple and easy to create so let's create a new composition called this shapes hit ok let's go into the lines comp and let's copy a path so hit ctrl c to copy the shape layer hit ctrl v to paste that up let's place this right over here select this hit u so you can see all the properties we so now we don't want any of this keyframes here so i'll go right over here and get rid of all the keyframe let's set the end property to 100 and start property to zero and now we can just animate the end property so i'll go at the very beginning let's set this to zero create a keyframe go to around one second and set this to 100 again i'm going to select that hit f9 go into the graph editor and let's create a peek into the center so now we get a bit more snappy animation as you can see now let's select this layer actually and increase the size to around 80 pixels also i'm going to select the layer hit u two times select the path and let's place this right over here and this one right over here something like that also i can change the position so i'll place it somewhere around there maybe bring down the size a bit let's select the layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it pull this below hit u two times to reveal the properties select the path let's actually make it a bit longer increase the stroke size as well to create a bit more variation select this layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it pull this below let's hit u two times select the path and the same exact process select this one hit ctrl d let's pull this right over here hit u again two times and the same kind of process you can go pretty random with the pattern you don't need to exactly follow the way i'm doing it i'm doing it very randomly so you can just take your time and try to find a really cool pattern and try to make it as complex as possible so i'll place this maybe something like that so now we have a pretty simple animation as you can see but now let's go into the lines composition let's select all the layers hit ctrl c to copy them go back into the shapes and hit ctrl v to paste them up so now we have the lines as well as the bigger strokes as well now let's go back into our main comp drag and drop in the lines composition so we have our lines and then also i'm going to drag and drop in my shapes composition let's hide the lines for now and just focus on our shapes so we have this nice shapes and at the moment it doesn't look that complex so to make it look really cool what we can do is let's duplicate this so hit ctrl d to duplicate it go into the track mat option now if you don't see this track mat option you can hit f4 on the keyboard to make it visible so select the bottom shape layer go into track mat and set this to alpha inverted so we get something like that which looks absolutely weird so I'm gonna, and then move the top layer a bit forward in time maybe something like that so now we get this really cool shape animation as you can see maybe a bit more but now we get this kind of a you know bleeding edges so to fix that select the layer go into effects and preset and type in a simple choker double click to apply that up and set this to minus two and that should fix that up so we get this really cool look as you can see now let's select this two layers hit ctrl shift c to precompose them i'm gonna call this big shapes underscore one okay hit okay 
Then I'm going to select this layer, hit Ctrl D again, set the track mat to alpha inverted again. And this time what we can do is actually displace them. So I'm going to select both the layers, hit S to bring down the scale properties, unlink this and let's adjust this. So let's create kind of a, you know, a little bit of adjustment to the scale. So now you can see the shape, the shape is started to look really cool and complex. So now you can play around with, with the design and you can scale that up to create a bit more variation as you can see. And it looks super cool. Let's select this layer, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. And let's, let's push this back a bit. So now we get this really cool animation. You can see. Let's select the three big shape layers, hit Ctrl Shift C to precompose them. Let's call this the main shape you can of course call it whatever that you want i'm just really bad at renaming things so now we have the shape let's select the lines and the shapes and you can see we get this really cool look now let's firstly go ahead and fill some colors so i'll select the main shape go into effects and preset and type in fill you can simply just double click to apply that up and let's make it a nice hot pink so you get this really cool look as you can see. But we are not done yet. Let's go to around one second. Select both the shape layers. Hit S. Unlink this and let's scale them up horizontally just like that. Maybe around. Let's go with 170 and this one with 170 as well. Let's select both the layers. Hit P to bring down the position. And I'm going to keep it somewhere around there create a keyframe, go back and pull them right over here. So now we have a little bit of position movement along with the animation. So let's move this around right over here. Let's select the keyframes, hit F9, go into the graph editor and let's again create kind of a peak to create a nice snappy look. There we go. So let's see what we have looking pretty cool as you can see. Let's create one more copy of the main shape. So select the main shape, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Select the bottom one, hit S to bring down the scale properties. And now we can adjust the scale properties. Also make sure to change the color so you can see the changes. And you can scale that up, make it different, you know, change the position. And there we go looking super cool maybe i can just scale this up differently in the negative property and let's see what we have as you can see this is looking super cool now maybe i'll select these two layers hit p to bring down the position let's go right here and move them a bit forward just like so Yep, that looks much better. And finally, I'll use a shape from the lines to add a background. So let's select any shape. Maybe let's select this one. Hit Control C to copy it and Control V to paste that up. Let's put this at the bottom. Let's solo this up so we can just focus on the shape. So now we have the shape. Let's set the stroke size to 1080. And I'll just try to position it into the center. Let's select the layer, hit U two times, select the path and let's place this one right over here. And this one right over here, just like that. And this is going to be our background layer basically. So we can select that and make it a nice darker purplish color. Let's unsolo that up and let's see. So I'm going to try to align it with the other shapes. So I'll select this, hit U so you can see just the keyframes. And let's adjust the keyframe like that. Yeah, maybe a bit more.
I'll select this path. I think this path is a bit too far. So I'll hit U two times again, select the path and let's play this one right here. Let's increase the distance. okay so that is looking pretty good let's preview this perfect so there we go there we have a really cool and colorful looking transition using just shape layers now you can duplicate the shapes and make a bit more complex look if you want for example if i want i can just simply duplicate the main shape so i can hit ctrl d to duplicate that let's select the bottom one and maybe make it white hit s and adjust the scaling properties to add a bit more variation maybe something like that also make sure to turn on the collapse transformation so you don't get any kind of you know blurred or anti-aliasing issues so as you can see this looks super cool you can just play around with that create a different look and make it look really interesting so i hope this very simple and easy tutorial was helpful to you guys and i hope you will be able to create your amazing cool shape transitions using this technique a big shout out to toko graphics pack for the inspiration he has some amazing content in this pack so make sure you check it out the link will be into the description they got some amazing typography transition and many other different things with more than 9000 sales that is absolutely great and that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then please do subscribe comment and like and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out